as I said, I love to read. Um, here's a few of my favorite books that I definitely recommend to you. We got, let's see, to the left, oh, top left, we got Percy Jackson. I love this series. Um, this is definitely a good series if you are at all interested in mythology about the study of different um, gods. This particular series about the Greek gods. And we meet Percy, who is ends up being the son of one of the gods, and we follow him along on his journey. And we actually will read The Lightning Thief. That is the, one of the read-alouds I read to you during the school year, so you'll hear that next year. Um, moving to the right, I like, I love The Lorax. The Lorax is one of my favorite, favorite picture books. Definitely my favorite Dr. Seuss book. Um, I'm a big environmentalist. I think it's important to take care of the world we live in, and The Lorax just pick just paints that picture in such a simple way and I love the rhyming scheme that Dr. Seuss has so we will read that book on Earth Day because that is my one of my favorite traditions. Um, Ranger's Apprentice series I recommend this series to especially if you have a higher you like to read the bigger books a little a little bit harder the little more fifth grade leaning levels um, all about a boy who lives in more medieval times who is trained to become like an archer so you get to see his adventures. Holes is a well-known book. It has received many awards. It's become a movie um, about a boy who is accused of stealing a pair of shoes. And he is sent to a camp where they are forced to dig holes in a dried up lake bed. And they're looking for something and they really don't know what it is. So you get to find out what that is. Um, the Tale of Despero has also been turned into a movie, a little bit lesser known movie. All about the adventures of a little mouse inside of a castle. So that one's a super good book. I read that whole um, chapter book in one weekend, and it's pretty. It's a thicker one. Another one of my favorite children's picture books is called Pinduli, and it's a super cute book. I love the pictures in it. It's all about a hyena who feels like she doesn't really fit in with all the other animals, and the other animals make fun of her, and she learns that. She just needs to accept herself the way she is because she's beautiful the way she is. Um, down on the bottom we got The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which is actually book two of the Nar Chronicles of Narnia series. Um, all of them are good. I love that, that series. It's, it's a cute series, and if you like the movies, you'll like the books. Ooh, Tuck Everlasting is a lesser known book. It's not super thick. I read it in one day. Pretty, pretty good book. It's all about a family who um, drinks water from a spring and they turn into immortal so they are not able to die. And this little girl meets this family and it's all about their adventures. The Warrior series is a pretty well known series, very large series, so if you like, ch like series books, um, this is a great one to get into. It follows a group of cats who live out in the wild, and you, there are a whole bunch of different adventures and problems that they encounter. The Giver is a classic book, classic novel. It's actually part of a series of, I think, three or four. Um, the Giver is, is a futuristic book. It takes place in the future. It's a society that has decided that individualism, so being your own person, is kind of a bad thing. So they are put into roles, so they are assigned, you are going to be a teacher when you grow up, you are going to be a doctor, and they, they know this as they grow up. And they also can't see in color, they all see in black and white, except for the giver who remembers how the world was before. So you learn about a boy who is being trained to become the next giver. Super good book, that one's also a movie. I'm going to jump over to the one in the corner, so Dewey the Library Cat. This book made me cry. I read it in fifth grade, I think, and it made me cry. It was about a cat who lives in the library, and if you like cats, it's a super cute book, and is on a, based on a true story. It's all of Dewey was an actual cat. And then jumping back, Jurassic Park is actually my favorite book. Um, it's not a book that's a fourth or fifth grade reading level, but I definitely recommend for middle or high school once you get up there. Super exciting, just as good if not better than the first movie. Um, yeah, some of those are great books. I am not a fan of graphic novels, so I can't recommend graphic novels to you. I am always going to encourage you to read a chapter book instead of a graphic novel because they are better, I think they're better for you and they really make your brain work. 
so yeah.